Grand Valley State University, G V S U, the letters of our intellectual home and our community. We begin this academic year in unusual times, and yet we remain committed to our values, integrity, inquiry, inclusiveness, community, sustainability, and innovation. G V S U, opening a world of possibilities. President Mantella, the participants are all assembled and convocation is now ready to begin. Good morning everyone, and especially good morning to the class of 2024. I am Felix Ngasa, Professor of Chemistry and Chair of the University Academic Senate. It is indeed an honor and a privilege to address you on behalf of our faculty. I would like to acknowledge all of our faculty today who are joining us via live stream Although COVID-19 has traded tradition for something unfamiliar, all our faculty and staff have been working very hard over the spring and summer to prepare for this new academic year. To me, this pandemic has been a lesson in adapting, rolling with the punches, and learning resilience. We are called to learn from this unprecedented time and alter our actions and attitudes to make our lives better, stronger, and happier. To the class of 2024, you had a choice in your selection of where to attend college, and you chose Grand Valley. First, thank you so much for choosing us. Secondly, I want to reassure you that you made an extraordinarily wise decision in choosing Grand Valley. To all our students, we are all part of the Laker family, and we are connected by sharing the same physical space. This year, more than ever before, our collective actions will be essential for the health and safety of us all, and to maintain the quality of this physical space. Please wear your mask, practice social distancing, Respect all the COVID-19 related policies put in place by the university, and most importantly, follow the guidelines from the CDC. In addition to the challenges from COVID-19 this year, we have to deal with other societal challenges such as racism, social justice, and climate change. Although this year will be a challenging year, challenges could be opportunities. I urge you, to see uncertainty and adversity as opportunities to reevaluate our life's journey and our role in our society. Now, I have a few words of advice to you as you start the new academic year. Number one, manage your time. Have a daily planner and update your calendar. This will help you balance school, work, and family. Plan ahead should be your mantra for your academic life. Number two, seek academic advising. Meet with your advisor as often as you can to stay on track for graduation. Number three, go to class and get to know your professors. We are all excited and eager to work with you. Ask questions and particip participate in class discussions. Number four, turn in your assignments and homework. Yes, grades do matter. It is better to hand something in late and get points off than to get a zero because you never handed in your work. Number five, set goals for yourself and do not procrastinate. Setting goals for yourself will help you focus on the things that truly matter. Number six, read all of your syllabi carefully. The syllabus is your contract for the course, and I'm sure faculty members are excited to hear this. There is no excuse for not being aware of essential information that has been provided to you. In addition, check your email account daily. 
Faculty and staff will use email to communicate additional information to you. Finally, treat everyone with respect and kindness. Best wishes for a great academic year. It is now my pleasure to introduce our Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic and Student Affairs, Provost Maria Chimitile. Hello, everyone. Thank you for being here in these most unusual circumstances. The start of the academic year begins now with our convocation. The word convocation means to call together. We are called together as a community, not only to begin the academic year, but also to reflection and action. The challenge we face are not far away. They are here and immediate. We stand amid the challenge of overcoming a pandemic creating a just society, and maintaining a democratic republic. There is no better place to take on these challenges than here at Grand Valley State University. Students, you are called upon to find out how you will contribute to solving these challenges. We need medical professionals to provide for the health of our communities, experts in statistics and quantitative analysis to be sure we have accurate and timely information public administrators who know how to plan functional and thriving communities, artists and writers who can express our hopes, fears, and realities. And these are but a few areas that society needs. The wonder of our university is that however you find yourself called, you will have everything you need here at Grand Valley to succeed. Most importantly, whatever career path you choose, you will be grounded in a liberal education you can be assured that alongside your preparation for your career, you will find new facets of yourself, study the human condition, and further develop the skills that are so vital right now, critical thinking, ethical reasoning, collaboration, and cultural competency. That is what makes the Grand Valley experience unique, and it's why Lakers make a difference to our communities. The faculty and staff are experts in their fields, and will guide you as you explore your choices and find how you will best serve society. I urge you to connect with the faculty. In their teaching and scholarship, they will open worlds to you that you could never have imagined. It is their joy to stand beside you as you make your way on your intellectual journey. Faculty, we have taken on the challenge of teaching during a time of tumultuous change. Your expertise, your commitment to our students, and your unwavering dedication to academic excellence are needed now more than ever. Our calling is educating students. Our student, students need you now more than ever. Our society needs you now more than ever. Together, we will emerge through these difficult challenges and time in our history. I have every faith that each of us will embrace their calling to serve the needs around us, standing in our tradition of transformative education for the good of one another and society. As Lakers, we will stand together. Thank you. I would now like to introduce our next speaker who will offer remarks on behalf of the students. Autumn Mueller is in her third year at Grand Valley. She is a political science major and marketing major and currently serves as the Vice President of Educational Affairs for the Student Senate. Autumn, we look forward to hearing from you. Hello, my name is Autumn Mueller, and I am so pleased to be standing here with you this morning to be beginning this new school year, this unique moment in your life and mine. This moment in history is going to be one that will surely be remembered, but it should also be celebrated because we all made it this far. And that isn't to be said without having to face our hardships like so many of us have. So first things first, let's start with a warm welcome to the class of 2024. Let us not forget our new transfer students and to welcome home our returning students. Welcome also, welcome to our excellent faculty and staff and to everyone standing along the stage with me. 
Now, when I reflect on my time that I've spent at Grand Valley, certain memories and people come to mind. One of which is a particular student organization that brought me to be on this stage today, Student Senate. This year will be my third year at Grand Valley and my third year on Senate. I valued and cherished the time that I was able to spend with those who also surrounded themselves with notions of student government. I will also continue to do so as I finish my education at this institution. Student government has been a passion of mine since I was a freshman in high school, where I was consecutively student body president for four years. As I transitioned into college life, the pattern of student government continued as I secured a spot on student senate, and then a year later became the vice president of educational affairs. Throughout these past two years, I met some of the best of my best friends, amazing administrators, and faculty that I genuinely love working with. Student Senate has brought some of the best people into my life. If I could give any piece of advice to a student, it would be to search for an organization, club, or sport that you are passionate about. Involvement could potentially leave you with some of the best memories of your life and will give you something to remember your college experience by. I say that because it's happened to so many of my peers and to myself. As I continue, the people at that Green Valley makes me think of most are the ones I surround myself with, whether I'm away from home or if I am here. My parents, my brother, and my friends have guided me through the years that I've spent at this institution, always cheering me on, giving me support when I need it most, and pushing me to work harder. Having people in your life giving you those three things is important, so find those people and remember them. Remember to also be those people for your family and your friends because they could still be searching for them. Surround yourself with people who have dreams, desires, and ambitions. They will help you realize your own. With all that being said, I want to thank you for listening and your patience as we navigate through this time together. It's an honor to be among such accomplished individuals and to be able to present my perspective and share my words. At this time, I am honored to welcome President Philomena Mantella. Good morning. I want to begin my remarks today and kick off our year by talking about what many of us are finding elusive these days, joy. No matter what is happening around us, we have a choice to make about our thoughts. Where do we allow them to take us? I am, of course, carrying many concerns and apprehensions, as perhaps you are, but I'm choosing to feel the great joy and excitement of welcoming you all to campus, no matter whether you are here with us or online. Opening up an academic year, no matter what the challenges and changes we face together, can be enriched by a joyful heart and the recognition that our time is finite and our opportunities are either limited or limitless, depending on our perspective to see possibility or see constraint. We have a very special learning community at Grand Valley State University. Thank you for being a part of it. Thank you to our provost, our deans, our senior team, all of our esteemed faculty, our dedicated staff, and our inspiring students who fulfill our mission every day, even in a time of unprecedented challenge. Thank you to our board of trustees who are exceptional in guiding and supporting Grand Valley State University in our quest to equip you with a liberal education infused with professional skills and wrapped by a community obligated to and enriched by one another for a lifetime. We often talk about life and learning that takes place along the way as a journey rather than a destination because we know that throughout our lifetimes, we will continue to learn. When you marry the words joy and journey, you find quotations from ministers to moguls because most everybody wants joy in whatever the journey is that they are taking. The CEO of Apple, Tim Cook, reminds us, let the joy be in your journey, not in some distant goal. Don't wait for perfection. Make a path infused with justice, joy, and happiness 
no matter what the twists and turns your journey will take. Goals are critical, but they shouldn't blind us to the pieces and parts, the sights and sounds along the way to achieving them, and they should be resilient as we learn, adapt, and grow. New possibilities are around every corner. Let's look back at our journey through this year. We did not have COVID or social distancing on our list of goals. You likely remember applying to Grand Valley and the moment you got accepted. Many of you filled social media with hashtag GVSU and shared your joy with the world. You thought your path was steady all the way to Allendale and Grand Rapids. While you were doing that, I too was beginning a new journey, a journey here as your president. I had my journey all figured out. I was busy holding huddles with all our faculty, staff, and students so we could map out a collective plan for the next chapter of this great university. You and I had full plates, full hearts, and full minds. We were goal-oriented and following our plan. Well, you know what they say about best laid plans. COVID-19 gripped the world and hit the United States in March, and we've been finding our foothold, adjusting, reforming, recommitting to our path ever since. My path, I imagine like yours, has been more challenging, faced with many more unknowns, and has required me to learn more in a single year than perhaps any year I can remember, except maybe those really early years where every day you're doing something that you absolutely have never done before. But I can also say to you honestly that my excitement when we break through a new barrier or recover from an unexpected failure or chart our own path as a university is filled with great joy because there's only one journey and I'm blessed to be on it with people who care about me and care for each other. The right path for all of us at this one of our defining moments is together, reaching for what's next at this great university with all the choices that come from intellectual pursuits, rich experiences, and a true sense of community. Yes, our journey are ours, but we have had the vivid reminder that they are intertwined during this pandemic. And I am encouraging all to recognize the profound impact we have on one another. Remember, every challenge brings opportunities, and this one is no different. We have new opportunities in the way we work, the way we meet, and the way we learn. We have thrown off the constraints that we may have seen for years. We're free, free to innovate, free to create, free to lead through unchartered territory. This convocation is but one example. Different perhaps, distant perhaps, but full of joy and promise for a great year. The world needs our innovation, our energy, and it's waiting for your ideas. My dream was to lead a university and a community that cared more for its mission and each other than for its personal interests. A university that understood that learning is a reciprocal process where every discovery and exploration a single student makes profoundly impacts how we learn and understand the world. I found that at GVSU. Sure, there's gonna be necessary differences in the Laker experience this year, but not in our values, nor in our commitments to you and to each other. Here are a few inspiring lines as we begin our walk together from Roy T. Bennett, Light of the Heart. Don't just learn, experience. Don't just read, absorb. Don't just change, transform. Don't just criticize, encourage. 
You came to this university to experience, absorb, transform, to encourage others, and to be encouraged. We are here for you. And yes, we are filled with joy that you are a Laker. We, the class of 2021, challenge you not just to learn, but to experience. We, the class of 2022, challenge you not just to read, but to absorb. We, the class of 2023, challenge you not just to change, but to transform. We, the class of 2024, challenge you to not only criticize, but to encourage. <sighs> Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? Thanks to everyone for attending the convocation celebration.
these convocation proceedings are now concluded.